the 2024 Honda Ridgeline. We have some subtle styling updates here and on the screen I'm going to have both the 2024 and the 2021 Ridgeline running around so you can see the subtle differences between the two. Essentially we have a new grille and the tailgate now has Ridgeline stamped in the back similar to the Toyota Tundra how they stamped the name Tundra in the back. Well they're doing that here with the Ridgeline and that's pretty much how you can tell in an easy way if someone is driving a 2024 Ridgeline. The interior also gets subtle updates and larger screens and the price has gone up by almost $1,000 from the 2023 model year. And I'll talk more about pricing and getting the best deal a little bit towards the end of this video. But in my personal opinion, I do think that the Ridgeline is a brilliant product. I think for a lot of families, this is the truck that's going to make the most amount of sense for them instead of something like a Toyota Tacoma or a Nissan Frontier because things like this it's a little bit more manageable a little bit more familiar easier to drive it's easier to see out of and it's familiar it's like driving a Honda Pilot essentially right and we still get that very excellent three and a half liter naturally aspirated V6 engine with 280 horsepower and 262 pounds feet of torque it's made it to a nine speed automatic and it comes with all-wheel drive. Honda estimates uh, 18 in the city and 24 on the highway. However, there's something else for 2024 that's all new and that's going to be the Trail Sport trim level. I recently did a review on the 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport. I will have that linked in the description box below. The Trail Sport is gonna come with upgraded suspension and 18 inch wheels with all-terrain tires. You also get a skid plate and unique styling cues as well along with some good standard features like a heated steering wheel navigation wireless phone charger etc and when you go with that trail sport you're going to get slightly worse fuel economy your highway mpg drops to 23 but you still get 18 in the city the vehicle comes with a lot of great safety tech however when you move up in trim level which i recommend you do get things like blind spot monitoring and pricing ranges between about $41,000 all the way up to about $47,000 and some change. The base model is going to be your Sport, then you have the RTL, the Trail Sport, and the Black Edition. I personally think the RTL is the sweet spot for around forty-four dollars Standard, you're going to get things like a 9-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You're going to get a push-button start, three-zone climate control, but you only get cloth seats with the base model Sport. You move up to that RTL that I recommend, you get the sunroof, you get leather seats, which are heated and power adjustable for the front. You also get a power sliding rear window, and this is where you get the blind spot monitoring. And this is why I recommend the RTL. I really don't think it's worth paying up for the Trail Sport or the Black Edition. You're better off just saving the money. And speaking of saving, I'm personally partnered with a broker named Auto Companion. I've mentioned him multiple times on this channel. He's one of the largest brokers in the United States. He's located in Washington, D.C., and he does offer Honda products. And from what I can tell, as of right now, we're still early in the year. I'm shooting this video January 2nd of 2024. So these programs probably are going to change very soon. But on a 2023 Honda Ridgeline RTL, he's offering a $3,700 discount. But more importantly, I want to share with you Auto Companion's free leasing calculator. Again, leasing programs, everything I'm talking about, it changes every month. So if you're watching this video in the future, all these numbers are gonna be different. However, that's why I'm sharing this calculator because this updates every month when the new programs get released. And this is a powerful calculator because it shows you the interest rate on the lease, which as of right now, when I'm recording this video, it's only like two and a half percent. So that's amazing. You can lease this vehicle for the first three years or two years and you're genuinely making real equity in the vehicle. And then you can just buy the car out at the end of the lease if you like it. And the payments are about 450 to 480 a month, assuming you have perfect credit and you do zero money down. Not to mention this calculator also shows you the various incentives that you can qualify for in your area. So it's a powerful resource. I definitely recommend you checking this out. And if you want to work with Auto Companion, because for whatever reason, your local Honda dealerships just will not budge on the price, you can reach out to him. 
He does charge a broker fee. However, if you sign up with my affiliate link in the description box, he will take some money off of that broker fee and you will either have to have the vehicle shipped to your house, which you'll have to pay for, or you will have to pick up the vehicle in the Washington DC area. That's how it works. You pay a broker their fee so they can take care of the negotiations for you and there's no hassle or haggling except for the shipping or the picking up part. That's your only real hassle. And honestly, even on a 2024 Ridgeline, I would still try to ask for the same discount. It won't lease out as well, but I feel like most people are just financing these things anyway. So I suppose this doesn't matter to most people. But I just wanted to share with you an alternative way of purchasing these vehicles to where it can be a little bit more manageable on a monthly basis. Because with traditional financing, as we know, interest rates are through the roof. And when you do a traditional finance of five, six, seven years, the first few years of a financed car loan, you are primarily paying the interest because most banks, they front load the interest on car loans and mortgages. And this is why so many people end up underwater in their vehicles in the first three years because they're hardly making a dent into the principal when they do traditional car finances. Again, you can research more of that in your own time, but that's everything that's new with the 2024 Ridgeline. Again, it's a vehicle I like. I think it's brilliantly designed. I think it's perfect for most families. I would say the only con with this product is the height of the bed. It's not that tall. However, they sort of make up for it by offering you a 7.3 cubic feet trunk in the bed. That's right, there is an additional trunk space inside of the bed. I think that's great. It's practical, it offers you some grocery bag hooks. And this is why I like this vehicle so much, but it's not the coolest vehicle in the world. I will admit to that. There's no swagger about this. It's not like you're pulling up in a real truck, right? But whatever, it gets the job done for most families. If they just wanna throw some dirt or mulch in the back without dirtying up the inside of a car interior or a SUV interior, they can do that with a Ridgeline because that bed is obviously separate from the cabin space. It's not like an SUV where you have to smell what's in the back of the vehicle, if you know what I mean. So that's my thoughts on the new Ridgeline. If you're an owner of one of these, let me know how it's been holding up for you and how you've been using it with your family and your household. But thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye.